Fox, two-time Olympic gold medalist with the U.S. women's soccer team. I'm here at Miracosta High School in Manhattan Beach, California, and the pro tip today is Corvers. Corvers are a good way for you to get better ball control, and it's something that you can do by yourself with just a ball and a field. Um, I have two demonstrators. We're going to go through three different types of Corvers. Um, the first one is you want to try to see an imaginary line, or if you can find a real line, you want to stay level with that line. The object is to come on up to this one actually real quick. Okay, you're going to go outside, inside, outside, inside. And you're going to try to stay on the line the best that you can. Now, the good thing about this that's going to help you do that, okay, is to kind of get your body over the ball, knees bent, right? And then you're also going to have to kind of keep your foot ankle locked, but actually kind of pull it back in. Good, so it stays along the line. Good. As you feel more comfortable, start very slowly. And as you feel more comfortable, we want to try to get you to pick up the pace. Even if you mess up, the faster you can go, the better you're going to have good control of the, body, of the ball and your body. OK, so she starts slow to get a good rhythm. And then we want her to go a lot faster. Go ahead, Cammie, start to do it as well. Good. Ball is a little bit underneath you, and that's going to keep it on the line. OK, if it's out in front of you, Sabrina, kind of have it go out in front of you, you're going to actually feel yourself moving forward a lot. And right now, we just want to stay in a straight line if possible. Good. So kind of have it going underneath your body. Body's nice and relaxed. Good. And if you need to, when you first initially start doing this, you can actually talk to yourself inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, just to get a good rhythm. OK, hold. That's the first one. Second one is the V. And if you want, usually with little kids, I'll kind of have them hold out their arms for a V. Good, they're gonna pull back with their right foot and then pull outside the foot with their left, going back up the arm. Good, so you're actually forming a V when you do this. Pulling back, and each time we're taking a step between touching the ball. Okay, the wrong way to do it is if you never, if you don't take a step, go ahead and try the way we saw you do before. Good, okay, so right there, she's not taking a step. That's the incorrect way to do that. We want to make sure we take a step between each one. Good. Perfect. And then as she gets a little bit better, we want her to go a little bit faster. Good. And also, we want to make sure that you don't cross your legs. So here's a bad way. One more thing, cross your legs, so don't come here. So do this one. Come across. OK. One thing we don't want to do is we don't want to cross our legs. So right here, she's doing it the wrong way. She's crossing. Good. OK, we don't want to cross. We want to make sure that we keep our, our feet planted good. Same side, perfect. Go ahead, Cammie. See how we can go a little bit faster. Good. Good. And hold, and hold. Last one we're going to do, similar to the first one, we're going to be on a straight line. OK, and you're going to do on top of the ball and then outside the foot. And when you do on top of the ball, you're actually rolling it toward your other foot. But again, not crossing your feet. OK, don't cross your legs when you do this. Good. And there has to be a little bit of a hop in there. Good. Try to stay on that line. Good. Again, these are things that you can do by yourself. Good. As you get a little bit better, go a little bit faster. Good. Try to be in a straight line. Good. Rolling it underneath you. There you go. Good. Now, one thing I want to show you too is, come on up here, Cammie, real quick. Even though you're doing these by yourself and the main reason you're doing it is to have better control with the, with the ball and your body, it's also a great thing. It's a great move that you could do in a game. So the V. If I am, she has it on her right foot, the ball on her right foot, and I'm a defender and I'm coming at her, a great way to get out of a situation with a defender is to use the V. So if I'm coming here, she could pull back, pull out, and she's gotten away from me. OK, so let's try that in full speed. If I'm coming at her, she pulls back and is out the other way. Very good. OK, so these are also moves you can use in a game. If we used the first one that we did, outside, inside, outside, inside, OK, if I'm coming from her right side, OK, she can inside, outside, and she's away from me. OK, another drill that we can use or another move that we can use to get away from a defender. OK, she can also use top of the ball and outside. Ready? Top of the ball, and she's out. Very good. 
So these are, again, these are three, only three. There's a lot of different quervers you can use. These are some of the basic ones that you could start with. Um, and these are my pro tips for today. Thank you.